morning. It's going to be a windy one today. I know somebody's job's going to be hard. Yeah, Andy ain't going to be happy straw blowing in this wind. It is powerful here. Let's see what he's got to say about it. Morning, Andy. Morning, John. What you got to say about this weather? It's beautiful. <laughs> is, a, is a straw going well? <laughs> Time will tell. If you like our content, remember to subscribe and like because it really helps us out. What I'd like to say is a big congratulations to Andrew Wadey. He got the um, weight of the barley the other day. Not far off, really. Not far off at all. I think he said 7200 and it was 7120. So well done, Andrew. Cracking job. Right, well, I think I'm going to jump on the 6930 Beast. Get this mixer wagon out of here and start doing the mix. Andy's about trying to battle the wind. I'm just gonna head back for the nine meter so I can start doing that mix. My dad and Em must be around somewhere feeding the uh, feeding the pens. Um, and then she'll be helping Andy with the strawing up. So she's about somewhere, but I've not seen her. So right now I'm on the nine meter. I'm going to go around there and what I'll probably do is try and set this uh, new tripod I've got up and uh, get you a bit of a time lapse of me actually filling the uh, mixer with the straw and silage. That'd be nice. Yeah, so it was that windy when I was doing a time lapse. It blew it, it blew it over on the tripod. My dad's just going around feeding on the TM with the big bucket back on because that's all fixed and ready to go. I'm loving. Nice shot I'd go for JCB's uh So yeah, I'll jump back on the 9 meter and we'll uh, fill the rest of that mix up. On this shed here. We'll get a quote to have three roller shutter doors so we can keep the weather out of there and keep it right. But um, the, the quote that came back was astronomical. Yeah, so not sure what we're going to do with that now. Um, I don't know, maybe, if, maybe try fitting them ourselves. Um, or just maybe cut it down to two or one doors. I don't know. Um, see what my dad's ideas is with it. So the ground barley shed is getting quite low and I can see what's going to happen here. We're going to need to do some milling when it's extremely windy. Um, and we have to have the mill in this shed. Well, it doesn't go in the shed. It has to be outside the shed and then we push it in. Um, hmm, that's going to be fun. Maybe I have to think of some other way of milling it inside the shed somewhere. That's one of the reasons why I uh, fill it, the mixer with barley inside the shed because any bit of wind it just blows everything everywhere. But then again, it means I get barley all over, barley dust all over in my shed. My tractors all get mucky, but at least we're minimising waste where we can. How we doing, fellas? Want to sniff? Oh, what a lovely nostril. What a lovely nostril. I think my phone might be disappearing soon. <laughs> yeah. So Andy's just blowing this in now. To be honest, it's not that windy yet. Although, no, it is. I'm getting absolutely pelted with straw. It's more going in the yard than in the See, it's all heading into the yard, a lot of it. Difficult job he's got this morning. <laughs> Came off Ark, you know, this uh, this trough <laughs> It's 2,000 years old. <laughs> right then, Em. Buzzing, yeah. buzzing, buzz buzz busy like a bottle of pop. <laughs> Great, right, Em, what have you been up to then? What's that you got in your hand? 
it, it does smell like garlic, doesn't it? It's like um, a respiratory mineral or something. It's got some um, garlic in it and um, and then some vitamins and minerals in it. And then just sprinkles it to the new ones, don't you? Yeah, so then hopefully if they've got any deficiencies, they pick up on their minerals and keep them healthy. Because that's the aim of the game. Right, is everybody ready for coffee cam? <laughs> oh, this could go everywhere. Oh no, no, not doing too bad. Not doing too Now it's windy, now it's windy. Okay, so I had to get two hands on job, and as you can see, I've made a great job of it. So those guys are going to sort some cattle out, and um, I'm gonna go swimming with my little boy, Isaac. Um, he's only two, bless him, but he's got a swimming lesson today, and uh, I thought, yeah, I'll tag along with that. So I'll probably be back on the farm a little bit later. Going as me? Swimming. When we going? Swimming. Yeah. Do you want to go swimming, Isaac? I'm working. Yeah, does that mean yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Donald's it is. I'm liking that wee man. Tell him I'm saying no, Daddy. No, Daddy. No, Daddy. No filming for YouTube. No, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Don't a new at Barnsley, Asda, Hello. and we also know it's a very customer service, it's fantastic. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Esme? Hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. Right, Em, I'm back. Andy's busy with that. And you already fed them? Or ate that yesterday? Oh, so you give him another go. Go, look, looked after them cows in that field, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back from the swimming lesson now. Really nice to spend a few hours with the family in the middle of the day. It's a treat, really, getting a swimming pool. But, uh, back to doing something. It sounds like they're manufacturing something in here. I can hear some grinding going on. He's got some brackets to make that bucket. Um, but I don't think he's got thick enough ones. The ones that are on the bucket already are three mil thick on the eye, and the ones he's bought are two mil thick. So, yeah, I don't, anyway, let him get on with it, but I don't think they'll be right. I've just come down to have a look. Uh, if I can see any pigeons, I'm not walking across today. I've, I've got my binoculars, so I'll have a quick scan. Well, that's good. There's none on there. Um, so I head back up and See what they're up to. Oh, my dad's been out and he's bought these brackets, just weld on brackets. Um, but when we put them up, there's only like one mil, uh, 10 mil, sorry, of, of distance between the back plate and uh, where this is here. And these pipes have to come up, and this pipe's like two mil. Yeah, two, 22 mil. So it, it's just trapping these pipes if uh, we were to weld it on. Realistically, it probably would have been cheaper than paying me, Andy, Em and my dad to mess about looking for pieces of scrap to try and make this fit. It would have been better just buying the MX brackets, but I'm not going to tell him that because he'll throw a massive wobbler about it if he thinks he's saving some money. He's not. I told him what I, what I, what I think about the matter and yeah, he's not happy. He's, uh, he's going to Cowgirls to get it welded up. Um, because is I think he's just like that stubborn not to take these ones back and get the proper ones that is uh, he's going to just try and battle through uh, making it right leave him up to it means he's out of our way Not spare hour or half something like that hour and a half so we're going to put the gearbox for the what is this Andy it's much better in it yeah. we're going to put the gearbox back on Andy's just greasing his shaft now says he loves it um, <laughs> and yeah, we'll just get that done, I think. Yeah. <laughs> 
transferring phones. I'm like, bring the speaker on while they were driving. He threw his head to the windscreen. <laughs> yeah, I did actually. So we were on live stream, so I'm just like, that is a lie. Yeah, um, Emily was actually like just she laughing her head off. She had to leave. She had to leave the cab. But uh, anyway, what I was going to say, I just filmed everything in time up, so I'm filming it all back again because I've not got this thing nailed down. We put what oh, M's holding there, the gearbox, that is now back on the machine. So the floors all work. We've joined the chains back together, but we just need some bolts to pop in there because um, we've not got any that are right length but we can sort that out later, not worried. And then tomorrow, if it is a lovely day like it is today with all the rain and wind and crap, then we can get the beaters that go on the back of here and make it look a bit more like a muck spreader. Does that sound like a plan, Emily? Well, yeah, yes, business, good. So I've got yeah. M putting the pipes on for me now because we're gonna start feeding some cows. Um, yeah, it's that time again. I need to get some what? <laughs> I'm saying great young to Oh yeah, it is. I need to get some wood and all for my log burner to eat. Keep that. Yeah, and I don't fancy going out in rain for it, so I think hopefully I've got a bit in the shed on it. I, I hope so. so otherwise I'm gonna be freezing. Freezing. Great right, M's um, jump out, up and get Bob's your uncle. So, three days. Well, strangely, there's not many outside today in this weather. They're all inside, keeping dry. Yeah, I don't blame them. I don't blame you guys. Yeah. I found my hat. So I had my swimming hair, didn't I? Oh, did you? Yeah. I thought I was looking a bit uncool, like. Do you know what I'm saying? Not so now, nah, now nah, I'm alright. Like you've got your ag drive on. Yeah. I've got my tartan. You know, like Becky, my wife, she bought me, she bought me another one of these. Actually, yeah, not red though. Oh. I think it's got to be red, on it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I am very grateful. Yeah, I am very grateful. It's like a, it's a smarter one that I can wear, like not on farm, if you know what I mean. It's like a bit red. It's either grey or brown. But yeah, it's nice. Just a light red. And I'm gonna call it a day. Em's got her backpack on. She's on. She's ready to go. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and like, it really helps us out. Um, I'm sure Em's had a fantastic day because I've not been here for like three and a half hours. Her and Andy have been having some great fun. Um, what we're doing tomorrow, we're gonna try and fix that much better. Um, so look out for that tomorrow. We'll probably be putting the back of the much better back on so it'll look like a proper machine again. Um, until then guys, have a really great night. And as Keep I said, as the lady says, keep living the dream. <laughs> <laughs>